So having a nice close look at this screen now, we can see that there's a, uh, a bright central spot in the middle which corresponds to electrons punching straight through the target and uh, crashing into the screen at the front. And then looking around that we can see first a bright ring and then a dark ring and then a bright ring and then a dark ring and then a bright ring. And that corresponds to the electron undergoing diffraction and it's basically proof that the electron behaves like a wave um, in this particular experiment. The nice thing we can do is we can show what happens when the uh, electron starts to behave like a particle again. And the way we can do that is by making the electrons travel quite slowly. Their wavelength becomes much longer than the plane spacing in the graphite. And effectively they become like particles again. So let's do that. We can turn the voltage back down. The electrons start going slower. And you go back to having electrons behaving like particles. You've still got this bright central spot and there's a little bit of fuzzy green around it which is just the electrons being scattered like particles as they come out of uh, the graphite but this ring structure goes away. And the interesting thing you can do with this experiment is by tuning the voltage you'll notice as I make the voltage higher and make the electrons go faster and the wavelength gets smaller the rings get closer together okay and you can use this in one of two ways if you know what the velocity of the electron is, um, that'll allow you to work out what the wavelength is and you can then use that to tell you what the spacing between the planes and graphite is if you happen to not know that. Or if you do happen to know it, you can work the other way around and you can use it to tell you what the wavelength of the electron is. So if you really wanted to, you could um, do this measurement as a function of the voltage on the, uh, on, on the electron gun and you could use that to prove de Broglie's relation, which is that the momentum is equal to Planck's constant divided by the wavelength. Hopefully it's fairly convincing evidence that electrons behave like waves. Um, it was fairly convincing evidence back in the 1920s and 30s, and indeed Davison and Germer did a very similar experiment. They looked at Bragg, reflect, uh, Bragg diffraction of electrons off a nickel crystal. Um, to prove that electrons behave like waves and won the 1937 Nobel Prize in Physics for doing so. It's um, not the kind of experiment that you can terribly easily do at home. Most of you won't have the kind of equipment that you need to do this, but it's by no means um, extraordinarily high-tech, nothing like the equipment that we use to do uh, research physics these days. But uh, fairly neat demonstration and one that works fairly easily.